Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It is night time here in Clock Town. Night is the first day and we want to head into the post office here. Uh, the reason for this is because there's a piece of heart in here and you can get this at any point in the game. I, I've just been slacking on it. That's pr probably all I'm gonna do in this episode, just get the stuff that I, uh, that I missed. I think there's only two heart pieces though before we can start that side quest. But if you come here at uh, night time, the, the, uh, the postman is here, spazzing out. <laughs> so let's talk to him here. Four, five, six. Why are those ears? Oh, they're fake. You startled me. <laughs> Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at the clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may, you may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Uh, you can do this without the bunny hood, but you have to hit exactly 10 seconds. And you, uh, if you have the bunny hood, you'll see a timer on screen, so that helps. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds and the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. So... Let's see if I can time this. It's pretty hard, actually. Wow! Ah, uh, is that close enough? Oh, almost. That was a close one. Um, yeah, so I do want to try again. And it will cost you two rupees every time. <laughs> okay. Well, that sucked. <laughs> I don't need my rupees for anything anyway, so... I'm just gonna try again. Like I said, it is extremely hard to hit it on exactly 10 seconds. Wow! Second try. Well, that's pretty much the second try. I don't count that uh, that failure. <laughs> huh? Ten seconds? That is amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. And we get a piece of heart. You assemble a new heart container and maximum life energy has been increased. I don't know why I'm reading that text for the first time. I can't be like this. I'll have to train more. More! You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. And with that we have 18 heart containers, so we are done here, for now. And we're gonna head out, and we're gonna have to wait until, um, I think midnight, so I'm just gonna skip ahead. Um, and I'll see you where we need to be. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see it's past mid ri midnight right now, I'm in East Clock Town. Uh, and you wanna have... Um, one of the title deeds. It doesn't really matter which one, so I suggest you just get the uh, the land title deed since it's um, this is the easiest to get. And what I did wrong is I tried to enter the stockpot in from the front, but you can't do that at night. What you have to do is you have to sneak in from over here. That's what this Deku flower is for. And I don't know how I forgot about that, but I just did. And this right here is uh, a pretty funny segment, or at least to me it is, as uh, a fan of Nintendo Capri Sun. <laughs> so yeah, now that we're in here, we'll uh, go downstairs. And I think I've been here before. Um, you want to go over this way. Whoa! Um, well, as you can see, we are in the bathroom! And apparently there's this hand sticking out of the toilet. Um... <laughs> yeah... Uh, let's talk, I guess? B -b -b paper please! Um... Okay... Uh, let's give him the title deed. Yay! Yeah! Oh, you saved me! I don't even wanna know, dude. This fell down, I'll give it to you. Do I even want to get what's down there? Oh my god! <laughs> can you get? Can you get? Can you get any more nasty? Oh my god! Oh, we got a piece of heart. Oh my god! I don't even know if I want this piece of heart. <laughs> Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. You helped? Question mark out of a jam. This was added to your notebook. Uh, so yes, we are done here, and that pretty much does it for all of the pieces of heart uh, that I uh, was slacking on. 
There are still uh, two pieces of, uh, three pieces of heart left, and three masks left. Um, and actually, we can get all three of those pieces of heart with the three masks that were missing. Uh, this last spot will be filled up later. Don't worry. Just these three are the ones we should worry about. All three of the masks can be gotten in a very tedious side quest, in my opinion, and I am about to start it. So, um, let me prepare some stuff, and I will meet you back at the dawn of the first day to start this side quest. I will be right back. Okay guys, and I'm back. It is time to start the uh, side quest I've been mentioning. Something uh, I could have done a lot earlier, but I didn't feel like it. We are starting the Anju and Cafe side quest. Um, there's, uh, it, there's a, it's a side quest that will give us the last uh, three masks. And a bottle. Uh, or actually, or a bottle in case of... Well, I'll explain that later. Um... What you gotta do, uh, well, we can't really do much yet. We can, uh, we can talk to see how the side quest, how the side quest progresses. As you can see, we have uh, this. This right here is cafe. Uh, I think we've already we already knew that. But um, at this time, you can see him uh, running over here. You can strike that bell, and he will come out, or he should. Ah, he's still over there. I don't think this part is required, though. This is probably gonna take uh, a lot of time, because I don't plan on cutting anything out, and it's a kind of slow side quest, which is why I don't really like it. Ah, maybe I messed that up. Let me re-enter this area. I haven't practiced this side quest. I'm just... Uh, I remember most of it, but... Uh, I remember enough to complete it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And actually I might skip ahead because... Well, some of the stuff... Like I said, it's kind of slow and sometimes it gets kind of boring. So... Anyway, well, that's Cafe. So, um, I say we... Uh, we pay Anju a visit. If you don't have the uh, Cafe's... Uh, the Cafe mask yet... Uh, you can go to East Clock Town, which is where I'm heading anyway. And you can get it from um, Madame Aroma at uh, the mayor's place. Um, I think you'll you there's a certain time you need to do that. You'll need to do that between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the first day or the second day. But since we have other stuff to do related to the side quest on the second day we uh, you should get it now if you don't have it yet it's one of the first masks you can get in the game so I think most of people who do this already have this mask by this time anyway this is the mayor's place if you um, that's there's the mayor's place if you wanna get that mask if you still don't have it if you do have it that's great I suggest you uh, check out um, you check out uh, you check out on Anju, and that would be over here. Uh, we've seen this guy before. Um, I, he's not really uh, well. He's not part of this side quest. So anyway, we have Anju over here, and um, well. I, I've tried to do this before, but you have to do it at a certain time. And we're just gonna have to wait over here. Um, because at 11 a.m. she'll go to the kitchen. And like I said, we're not doing anything yet. We're just observing on the first day. Um, well, there is, there is some stuff you need to do. And it will come up in uh, a second here. Let's check out this kitchen. Eel, why is that why are there box crawling around here? This is not a very good kitchen. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's uh, about 10:30. 
I do think you need to talk to Anju though when she goes to the kitchen at 11 a.m. Which should be any minute. Um, you can play the song of uh, the inverted song of time to slow down time if you want to during this side quest, and it might be useful at some points. Not really at this point though. As you can see, Anju just went to the kitchen. Uh, not really at this point though, because like I said, this part is kind of slow. There is a part later on where you have to hurry up, so I suggest you do. Um, I suggest you uh, do slow down time there. Also, there's nothing here in the bathroom today. That hand only appears from uh, midnight until. Um, it only appears from midnight until I pr I think the morning. Oh crap, I think I should have talked to her. I hope I didn't mess this up because that would be kind of bad. And she'll just go to the different rooms serving lunch. Um, uh, I, I think if you do talk to her here, she will say something about a visitor. And that's something I'm kind of worried about. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I don't know if it matters that I missed it. I, uh, I got a little too... Uh, too distracted with my commentary here. <laughs> uh, I think the first thing we gotta do, though, we we gotta do it at uh, at 1:40 p.m. 1:45 p.m. actually, and that's when you, when you can actually reserve a room. So, which should be soon. She'll be done uh, serving lunch in a little bit. Yeah, she's uh, she's coming back down now. So we should be able to make our reservation. If we don't, I'll just uh, I'll just skip ahead to where we can, or at least I'll skip ahead to the point where she will say something about that visitor. If that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, let's see if this still works. Please work. Are you staying the night? Oh, oh my, I wonder, did I by any chance uh, ask you the same thing earlier? My mother is always telling me to remember our customers' faces, but I tend to forget them. Crap. Um... I think I messed it up. <laughs> I completely messed that up. <laughs> Unless I can go back and redo that stuff. <laughs> Otherwise I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna end the episode right here and do it right in the next episode. Yeah, I messed that up. Anyway, we are we ran out of time anyway, so I will meet you in the next episode when we do this stuff right. And I'll skip ahead to the point where Anju talks about that uh talks about that visitor. So thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you next time when we continue the Anju and stuff uh, the Anju and Cafe side quest. I cannot talk.